Welcome to the Williams NFL Draft Scouting Report. I'm your host, aspiring GM slash scout Michael Williams, bringing you a scouting report on some of the prospects in the upcoming 2020 NFL Draft. Today we're going to be talking about Jermichael Hasty, running back from Baylor University. Hasty wore number 6 and 33 while his time at Baylor. Hasty came into the scouting combine at 5'8", 205 pounds with 31 inch arms and 9 inch hands. Hasty ran a 4540 at the combine. He repped 225 pounds 15 times. He had a 39 inch vertical and had a 4 second 20 yard shuttle. During his time at Baylor, Hasty started 13 games, participating in 45. He missed some of the 2017-2018 season with a sprained knee. In all, he missed about six weeks. Hasty was able to show his durability in 2019 by not missing the game at all. Hasty had some impressive numbers at Baylor. He averaged 5.2 yards per carry. He gained 1,998 rushing yards. He scored 15 touchdowns. He had 485 receiving yards on 79 receptions and was a contributor on special teams as a kick returner. He averaged 20.8 yards on 16 kick returns. Some of Hasty's good traits are that he's a good physical runner for his size. He'll run through just about anybody on defense that gets in his way. He has good speed but not great speed as a Saquon Barkley. He has some good elusiveness that he can make a defender miss in a phone booth. He has the average acceleration to burst through the hole and get to the second, possibly third level. One last good trait about Hasty is his willingness to block for other teammates and not just the quarterback. In some clips against Kansas State, you'll see Hasty blocking for his fellow running back and his wide receiver teammate to spring them and gain more yards. Some of Hasty's bad traits are that he's injury prone. He has injuries dated back to when he graduated high school and came to Baylor, which led him to miss some time. Another concern about Hasty is his pass protection ability. Not necessarily his ability, but his vision. He has to improve on recognizing where the blitzer is blitzing from. As far as his blocking ability, he's average. Hasty had some fun concerns in 2019, which some teams might take into consideration when possibly drafting him late in the draft. When healthy, Hasty can be effective in any offense in the NFL. He will develop quickly in more of a zone offense where he can use his vision to make one cut and get up the field. Again, he's not going to break the 30 to 40 yard runs every game, but he will gain positive yards each time he touches the ball as a runner or receiver. I believe Hasty will begin his career as a third down running back while contributing as a receiver at the backfield and special teams player. When I watch Hasty, he reminds me of Atlanta Falcons running back Devontae Freeman. Like Freeman, Hasty runs behind his pads and uses his elusiveness to miss defenders and get upfield. They both have great bursts through the hole and great vision to get game more yards. They both play with the toughness that makes you forget about their actual size. Some teams I can see drafting hasty in the late rounds are Cincinnati Bengals, LA Chargers, Houston Texans, Detroit Lions, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. All these teams are in the market for a backup running back and need someone that can be effective not only on offense but on special teams. Hasty performed well at the scouting combine, doing well in field drills and showing teams how versatile he is in and out the backfield. Hasty was also able to show teams he can move well and that his past injuries were not affecting him. I believe with the solid pro day performance, Hasty can boost his draft stock to a late third to early fourth round pick.